Now that we have the holes in our board outline, uh, let's go ahead and start moving our objects on. So I'm going to go ahead and select the move tool and I typically like to start with uh, the biggest and we will be moving, this is the battery, the battery footprint. Uh, I like it on the lower half and this is just a design decision. There's no hard set rules that say where you got to put this. Maybe in your board, board design there are because it interfaces with another board. So we're just going to move down here. I'm uh, wanting to get this in centered and because I know that my board width is 35 millimeters if I can center this on 17.5 there we go what's nice about this schematic or this circuit rather is that uh, it is kind of symmetric in that you have two of everything and uh, that it, that symmetry I want to have on this PCB as well so one thing I want to do is uh, just go ahead because there is so much symmetry um, I'm going to dimension where the center of this board is and right there 17.5 and I'm just going to draw a line in my dimension layer uh, straight up and kind of di divide this board in half and this will just help me visualize how I want uh, the symmetry across this kind of mirrored across this line uh, ignore this error right here it's just because the layer is conflicting with it we're going to remove this later So now I'm going to go ahead and move, uh, start moving my parts on. And you can go back and forth from your SMAG to your PCB layout with that schematic to board button. And uh, this way I can kind of see uh, where my components are and what they're close to because if they're close to each other in a schematic, it probably makes sense to make them close to each other on the PCB. The switch is, uh, is one of the single items, so I can put this on the mirror line. But uh, the resistors are uh, symmetric, and so of course I did the odd and even. So my odd resistors I will put on one side, and my even resistors will be on the other. Now I can grab them all by selecting all of them. And now, in just like in schematic, I'm going to right click and hit move group, and this easily moves uh, more devices at once and here's an odd so I'll go ahead and put my odd on the left even on the right and the idea here with me moving the parts on the board is I kinda want to get a general location but it's not the final location so everything could be moved everything could be adjusted I mean we could even go back to schematic and add another resistor and uh, it's still not too late so you're never past the point of uh, no return only when you actually send your Gerber file off so right here you can see uh, these. this is kind of flipped around because my voltages from the battery come up to the top of these foot pads and the voltage out off of the switch kind of comes from the bottom so I'm going to uh, go ahead and switch this because of my <laughs> this mirror line is here I want to use the selection filter to ignore it now I just selected it and right click that rotates so selecting anything with move and then right clicking will rotate it so now that makes more sense and these uh, yellow lines they're called air wires air wires shows you the physical connection but there's no trace yet connecting it so it helps just give us a reference now I'm going to uh, start moving things around rotating moving pushing pulling that sort of thing uh, just to get what I think will be a good layout start it and because everything in this circuit starts with these resistors off the switch and I'm kinda just going to move through uh, the schematic that way so now we have the uh, now we're putting the resistors in we can grab the uh, next device 
which uh, is could be the LED or the trim uh, resistor. I'm going to go with the LED here. And I rotated it so that the uh, air wire you can see from R2 and R1 connect to the LED without crossing too many paths. And again, I'm just kind of dropping it in the general location. So now I uh, could see the next thing on my list would be these trim resistors. So go ahead and bring those on. And I'm not worried about the words right now. We're going to come back and clean that up. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the transistor. Now, just as in the schematic, the schematic kind of had a crossover path with this transistor. We're going to have a crossover path here, so uh, I'll show you when we start routing traces how to handle that, but there's just no way around it. And now that I have everything on the board, now I can kind of move things around, get them situated. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is where you, as a PCB designer, get to be creative. Of course, everything has to be connected a certain way, but how you lay it out is all up to you. It's kind of like a puzzle. I'm just going to uh, move things around a little bit and imagine how I'm going to draw my traces to each item. If you're dealing with a circuit and you want to really compress it down to a small overall size right now we have 35 millimeter by 55 one way I like to do that is just work with a large area get everything situated like I'm doing right now and then start to slowly scrunch everything in closer and closer and tighter we're not going to get it super tight this is going to be pretty efficient but uh, you know sometimes space is a big deal and that's super important so that's uh, one design method you could choose to uh, ensure to get everything close together This, uh, this process right here, this could just be uh, <laughs> the longest part is you're just looking, uh, moving things around. It's a puzzle. One thing to also think about, you can't see it right here because we're working in 2D, but all these components have dimensions. So your LED, this is a through hole LED, it's coming up. You know, is it going to hit something above it or? is is it going to be too close to the uh, the screw that goes through this hole those are all things to consider as well this trim pot it's uh, it's got a screw insert so am I going to be able to get a uh, screwdriver in there or something else going to be obstructing it So right there, I accidentally mirrored it, the capacitor, that's why it turned blue. I, that would be me telling it to go on the bottom. So if you want to put components on the bottom, the way you do that is you just mirror and uh, giving it its reflective state will put it on the bottom and you'll see the pads are blue because that's the layer is blue unless you change it. Because we're hand soldering this too, I'm uh, moving things around. I'm kind of thinking about how easy it's going to be to get a soldering iron in here and solder some of these feet. 